Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. You are watching the 45th episode of the US series. I am covering all of the states and territories of the United States, so if you're interested in the subject, please feel free to watch the entire playlist. Similar videos await on my channel, so be sure to check it out and subscribe. Today's episode is all about Vermont, so let's dig in and see what this state has to offer. Vermont, which is the merger of two French words, vert meaning green and mont meaning mountain, is nowadays considered to be a cozy, peaceful little state, perfect for a comfortable and simple life. But this perception wasn't always like so. During the French and Indian Wars, which lasted for nine years, French colonists and soldiers and their Indian allies fought against the British colonists and soldiers, making the region of Vermont a chaotic and dangerous place to live. By the way, the French and Indian Wars was just a theatre in the much larger Seven Years' War between Britain and France. Once that conflict was over, Vermont was ceded to Great Britain and it was only afterwards that waves of new colonists started settling down in the area. Those colonists and their descendants actually succeeded in creating an independent state in 1777 during the American Revolutionary War, making Vermont one of only four states that were previously sovereign countries, the other ones being California, Hawaii and Texas. The Vermont Republic lasted for 14 years before they willingly joined the newly formed United States of America. They were actually the first new state to join the Union after it was created by the original 13 colonies. Back then, New York was kind of a bully for Vermont. Both New York and New Hampshire had continuous claims on certain land grants situated in Vermont. Fed up by this and having suffered a minor aggression from New York, known as the Westminster Massacre, Vermont later decided it would govern itself as an independent country. But New York's claims didn't stop and continued to be a nuisance. When Vermont wanted to join the United States, they couldn't because of those same claims. Their borders had to be settled through negotiations and ownership disputes with New Yorkers were resolved by Vermont by paying $30,000 to be given among those who claimed their land. It was only then that Vermont was officially accepted as a new member of the United States. Although not very well known worldwide, the Von Trapps are an iconic family in American popular culture. They were depicted in the Broadway musical and film The Sound of Music and have enjoyed a lot of popularity ever since. And the family lived out their lives in Vermont, with the last child of the family still living there, managing the family business. The story of the musical is based on the lives of the Von Trapps, who were also a group of singers. They experienced life under the Nazis after Austria was annexed, witnessing the hostility towards Jewish children by their classmates, the use of children against their parents, and by the induction of Georg the family had into the German Navy. They even encountered Hitler in 1938 in a Munich restaurant and after fleeing Austria, their home was actually used as Heinrich Himmler's headquarters. Vermont is probably best known for being a skiing heaven. There are countless resorts, hotels, restaurants and shops designed to attract tourists. And while yes, winter time is the busiest time in these venues, you may consider also visiting in the summer, as 30% of tourists do. The tourism industry is very important in the state's economy, as 14 million people visit it every year, spending over $1.5 billion. This in a state with no more than 630,000 people. Cavendish was home to one of the most infamous neurological case studies in history. Phineas Gage was part of a railroad crew in 1848 when a tamping iron propelled by explosive powder shot clear through his brain. Seemingly unharmed, Gage remained conscious and lived over a decade longer to the age of 36. His personality, however, was dramatically altered. 
He lost any sense of decorum, swore often and basically became a very unpleasant man to be around. He became one of the first and most famous case studies in how the brain is in charge of personality and how a trauma could affect it. What is the capital of Vermont? You don't know? That's understandable. The capital city of Vermont is the smallest one in the entire United States. Montpellier has a population of about 7,900 people, so chances are they don't make it to the front pages very often. Still, don't be discouraged by this fact. First of all, during daytime the population grows to 21,000 due to the large number of workers that make their living within the city limits. Second, Montpellier is probably one of America's coziest and most beautiful cities, with splendid architecture and countless shops. Scotland has the Loch Ness Monster, but Vermont has Champy. Champ is an aquatic beast said to live in Lake Champlain and has been claimed to be seen by hundreds of witnesses as far back as the 1800s. The legend of this creature goes back even further, since Native American tribes from the region also had stories about this mysterious creature. As is the case with Nessie, Champy has also been dismissed by researchers as there is no irrefutable evidence of a large unknown creature living in the lake. Still, keep an eye out, you never know. So there you have it. We've just went through 7 little known facts about Vermont. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave your comments downstairs if you have anything to say. Also, there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel even more. Click on the icon appearing on the screen or find the link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.